All right, guys, so I'm going to go over how to create a master client list just so we can keep track of our clients, stay organized, and make sure that we are being professional with our business. So I'm going to share my screen here. First step is literally you can just Google, Google Forms. You click Create Forms. It's going to go to something like this, or it's going to ask you to log in. So you go to Go to Forms. I'm already logged in, but it's going to ask you to log into your account, your Gmail account, create a blank one. This is what it's going to look like, and you can obviously name it however you want, description, and then you're going to be adding questions as you go. I already created one over here just to save us some time. So here it is. I put my master client list, client's information. These are the things that I think everyone should have just because instead of filling out like a client profile sheet on a piece of paper and then having to go back and input all the info into like a spreadsheet, you can do this while you're sitting with the client. So when you're asking all these questions, filling out the application, you can fill it directly into this client list while you're doing it. So whether that be just an extra tab open or um, just filling it out and then going to the app, whatever you need to do. But this is going to make your life a lot easier. And trust me, it is worth it. So full name with middle name, of course, their driver's license number. So when I'm asking the client for identification, I grab their ID and then I, I hold on to it. I usually clip it into my clipboard and I hold on to it um, just so I have it to put the driver's license number down, date of birth, make sure I spell their name pr properly, all that good stuff. Now the height and weight option, it usually gives height and weight on a driver's license card, but um, some people like for Texas, for example, we only have our height on there. So I'll always say, oh, see, it says here on your license 510. Um, last time you weighed yourself, doesn't have to be exact, but how much was that last time you weighed yourself? And I put that in here, phone number, email, their mailing address in case um, you want to send them a thank you card, um, city and state they were born in case we need to go to another application, social security number, the carrier and the product that we applied for, their monthly premium, their face amount, their recurring draft date, policy number if it are already populates, otherwise you can go back in and add that later. The reason I'm asking these things guys, when a client calls you, for one, you should be always saving your client's phone numbers with the picture of you guys as, as you gain clients. When they call me and they are saying, hey, when is, my, when is the money gonna be pulled? Hey, how much do I need in my bank account? Hey, and if I don't know these answers offhand, it's not gonna look very professional on my part. My job is to be their agent. I'm the one that's supposed to be able to help them when they need the help. So this is why you're adding these to the sheet so that if they call you and ask, you look professional you can click the spreadsheet, find it right away and say, hey, you're gonna need $50 in there by the first of the month, all right? Routing an account number. Why I'm adding this is because let's say you apply to Aetna and they get declined and now you're having to pivot over to another company. Well, we all know that Aetna blacks out the account number and routing number. So it's already uncomfortable getting that up front from them. So then when you go and have to apply again and ask for it again, it's not very fun and doesn't seem very professional. So make sure you're getting that info. So if you need to, you can go and reapply to another carrier. Mother's maiden name, I just add that because I know that Americo needs it. So if you get declined and want to go somewhere else, you can put mother's maiden name. Beneficiary's name and phone number, why this is important. For one, you can get referrals. For two, I've had a specific scenario where the daughter, we got an email stating that the client had deceased um, and the bank draft came back and the daughter had no idea that he had a policy. So we were able to reach out to the daughter and say, hey, I see that your dad passed my condolences he did have a $14,000 policy to cover burial expenses for you. You're the beneficiary. Let's get this claim submitted. And it really helps you um, just be that agent for those families. So get those info. The reason I'm using 
long text for these ones. Like you can click um, paragraph or short answer. The reason I'm doing paragraph is because if they do multiple beneficiaries, so let's say they do 50% to one kid, 50% to the other, I'll be able to list, you know, both in the long text. So got that. Um, and then lastly, this client photo. Now I'm always taking pictures of my clients and I think it's nice to be able to send them a thank you card with the photo in it. Just an idea. You don't have to. I know not everyone does it, but when you do this, you click file upload. Got to make sure you have it at the max that it will allow one file. And then um, I'll show you over here in settings. And just so you know how to add a question, you're just adding like this. You can delete. You can move them around if you want it to put that first, whatever you want to do. But this is how I like to do it. So over here in settings, I always allow response editing just in case I need to go back and edit it. Um, I'm restricting it to only people within my organization. And then right here, this total size limit for all uploaded. I do the max because sometimes pictures, I don't know what it is. Sometimes pictures are too large of a file. So I just always put max. That way I don't have to worry about it coming back and saying something. <clears throat> Show link to submit another response, just in case we're doing a husband wife, make sure you have that clicked. Yep, so that is it. Once you get all that created, you press over here, you click send. And I always send it to myself. So I have it in my email. I include the form in the email. Perfect. And then I send it. Or another thing you can do is send, you press this link. I always shorten the URL. You can copy the link and you can put it in your notes or wherever you need to put it so that you can access it at all times when you're filling out um, client's info. So another option would be having the link over here and then bookmarking it. So, you know, master client sheet on the favorites bar, done. Now you'd go over here and every time you go to fill out a client, you'd click this and you have all their info. So makes it super simple and easy for us. Now, when you go to fill out a form, obviously you guys saw when I had the link, let's say I clicked it and I'm filling out the client's info. Just wanted to show you, I already have one created with all my info. And this is how you're going to upload the photo. Cause I know a lot of people are gonna ask questions about this. You download Google, Down the Google Drive on your phone. It's an application. When you go to add, if or when you go to take the picture with your client, you can do it through your Google Drive, or you can just upload it into your Google Google Drive. I've started to do it through my Google Google Drive just to make it easier. So what I do is I go up. There's a right hand side. It says Files. You'll press the Add button, and then it says Use Camera. Use Camera. So now when I'm taking the photo, you know, with the client, I'm taking the photo and it gets automatically uploaded into my Google Drive. That way you have all your client's photos there as well. So I just took that photo, I added it to my Google Drive. I'll click this over here, my drive. And you can see this is the photo I just took. Select and I added it. And now I press submit. All right, so let's say I need to go submit another response. I could do that, or I could edit my response, whatever I need to do. Next, just to show you, when you go over here, when you click responses, you're gonna go and click this. Um, you can either download the responses as a C CSV, or I always just click this view responses in sheets. And now you can see this is how your client list will be created. 
So see all my information, the ones that you don't have to fill out, they just leave blanks, not a big deal. But yeah, there you go. You have all the info that you'll need. So when they call you, you have that handy. And then it just has the image as the Google Drive right there, Google Drive link. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, it definitely will make your life easier. So just do it consistently and make sure you are doing this on a regular basis with every one of your clients. And just so you know as well, this will create a spreadsheet so that you can access in your Google Drive at all times. All right, that's all I have for you. Let me know if you guys have any questions. My number is 214-697-2374.